Hi, my name's Finn from the Painted Penguins, and this is Petquin, a virtual pet that acts as a robotic assistant that can be used by children to reinforce COVID safe behaviour within youth. It does so by assisting users in carrying out correct health and safety actions in government spaces. Before revealing our product, we'd like to emphasize that its primary purpose is to replace the current QR system in place. So what actually is the COVID-19 QR check-in system? The QR system is a system created by the Australian government to allow people all over Australia to track where they have been and who they have come into contact with in regards to the current COVID-19 pandemic. A user would scan a QR code, much like the one here, and then proceed to fill in a form to check themselves in, into whichever venue they are visiting. We have chosen to focus on public libraries as our problem space, specifically the entry and exit points, as a relation to checking in and out. The library is a place with many demographics, but in terms of our assignment, we'll be focusing on youth, aged 7 to 21 years old. From previous user research, they have been found to be impatient, tech-savvy, and dependent on their parents. Youth go to the libraries for a variety of reasons, such as to read, study, and socialize. Previously, we have tested several prototypes to assist with checking in and out of libraries. From our testing results, it showed that our strongest idea was RFID. Initially, we wanted to merge many ideas. To take the fun and interactivities of Hannah's work, the gamified ideas of Ting's, the key chain portability of Anna's and the RFID technology in mine and Aisha's work. Thus combining these ideas, we thought of the classic Tamagotchi. Consequently, we've developed a fun, interactive app as well as a separate smart device with both NFC and RFID capabilities, allowing the user to check in and be rewarded for it. As well as, well as this, it reinforces good behavior within youth by creating a virtual pet, the Petguin, that will get healthier and happier when COVID safe behavior is followed. So why RFID? Well, to put it simply, RFID is faster, more efficient, and less prone to user error than the current QR system. It is also wireless, meaning a user does not have to come into contact with a potentially contaminated surface. So here's a prototype for our first iteration of the Petgrin app. There are five options on the home screen. In order, Kevin, History, Tasks, Your Friends, and Notifications. History shows where you've been previously and where you've checked into. Tasks allows you to complete COVID safe tasks such as checking in or sanitizing your hands with special NFC enabled machines. Your friends shows a leaderboard, uh, a leaderboard of people you have added so that you can compete to have the greatest penguin. Notifications shows any notifications or alerts you may have missed. And Kevin is, uh, is what this penguin is called. And by clicking this button, it allows you to customize him however you like. This is a video demo of our prototype. First, the user scrolls through the homepage, identifying each of the options. Then they proceed to the history to review their past check-ins. The user then carries out a, a bunch of related health and safety tasks in order to gain rewards. Here they are checking in, now sanitizing their hands. Once the user has done this, they go to the Your Friends tab to check how their friends are going. Finally, the user checks their notifications. To test whether our design was effective or not, we came up with a design hypothesis and goals to meet. Our hypothesis was that the RFID tags will make checking in and out more efficient than QR codes. The rate of check in slash outs will be a lot higher as it is an automatic process. Finally, the gamification within the device will encourage the user engagement with our target audience of the youth. Hence, our design aims to include increasing the rate of check-ins, in increasing user engagement, and maximizing efficiency. We performed both user observations and surveys to test the efficiency, rate of check-in, and engagement of our new device. We gave our users two tasks. Task 1 was for the user to carry the device and walk through a doorway, thus checking in. Following this, they must review their check-in history by using the app. For task 2, the user taps the device on a hand sanitizer machine, then logs in using the app through the tasks page. After being rewarded for doing this, the user must customize their pet groom. Here are the results from the first round of testing. We tested 6 people aged 13 to 21. The average time to complete both tasks was 38 seconds. 100% of the users found the tasks easy to complete. They would also recommend this product to the youth. 5 out of 6 tested felt engaged while using the device and felt it was more efficient than scanning QR codes.
Major issues found that were that users struggled to find the customization option for their Pequin. The lack of a back button made it hard to navigate, and the task button should be first as it's the most important button. From here we determined what we needed in the next iteration. Hence we added a clearer customization button to the home page, changed the order of history and tasks, as well as adding a help button which tells the user why their actions affect their Pequin and how to use the software. This is a video demonstration of our iterated design. Our user first scrolls to the home page to identify all options. They then click on the task to see what they must do. Our user makes use of the added help option in order to get a better understanding of the task. Going back, they complete the check-in task successfully, however they do not complete the sanitizer task. The user reads the prompt bubble to know that this has made their penguin sick. The user redoes the task in order to make their penguin healthy again. Our user then checks their check-in history, followed by the leaderboard. Finally, using our introduced customize button, they go, the user goes to customize their penguin. As you can see, not a lot has changed except for the back button, button order, and clear customize option. However, there are also minor changes to the friends page showing the penguins rather than your friends faces. For this iteration, we performed the same tasks on six users to test its effectiveness. The results were very similar except 3 seconds faster on average to complete both tasks. However, 100% of the users felt engaged while using the device opposed to 83% in the previous iteration. There was also a much stronger understanding of the game aspect of the device. By comparing our Pequin design to the current QR method being used across New South Wales, we can analyse our, our results and determine the effectiveness of the product. From our user testing it was found that the initial time taken to check in using our RFID device, which scans automatically upon entry slash exit, was less than 10 seconds. This is absolutely more efficient than the QR method, which takes approximately over 20 seconds. As well as this, based on our user surveys, our Pequin was preferred over the tedious QR method due to its interactivity and engaging aspects. And of, of course, our product is well suited to target the user group of the youth, as opposed to QR codes which is practically unused by the youth. From this, it is clear that we have achieved our design goals for our product as it has proven to provide a more effective method of checking in and out of public libraries for youth. Our three target goals of increasing rate of check-in, efficiency and engagement have been met according to our user surveys following our tests. As well as this, our design hypothesis was also met as our product proves to be more efficient than QR method of checking in and out of venues. The use of RFID technology within our tags has removed factors such as laziness and dependency on mobiles in order to check in, thus being a much more appropriate option for our target audience of the youth. Going forward, we look to incorporate more ideas generated from our user testing, such as more features from, for the point system, a snap map-like feature that integrated with the check-in history, and expanding the range of Pequins for, for other health and safety issues in Australia, such as sun health and swimming lessons. From here, we would like to create a physical prototype, much like this one, and seeing how the NFC and RFID technologies would interact with the app and the user once implemented.